Hey, hey, everybody, what's up? Benji Pistone here, representing Hamilton. How y'all doing today? Uh, so check this out. It Today is December December 23rd, um, meaning that tomorrow, which is Saturday, is Christmas Eve. So, yeah. So. And next week. And next week being December 31st, is New Year's Eve. And I just found out that this year, New Year's Eve falls on a Saturday, which is perfect, actually. Very perfect this year, you know, because on next Saturday, you can go out partying. Um, I don't know what I'm doing yet next Saturday, but, you know, probably just go to my buddy's house, you know, like... Uh, Pretty sure he's going to have a party there. We're going to drink and all that good stuff. And, uh, yeah. So that's perfect that this year, New Year's Eve falls on a Saturday. Because after that, you know, Sunday, January 1st being New Year's Day, falls on a Sunday. And that's perfect, you know what I mean? That totally does not fuck up the week, you know. <laughs> and I'm actually... I'm actually, I don't know if any of y'all feel this on feel this on me, but I'm actually glad that New Year's Day is, is a holiday where everything is closed and you don't have to go to work. Because <laughs> uh, that's perfect, because um, usually when you drink too much, you wake up with a hangover, you obviously don't want to go to work, you don't want to do shit. You know what I mean? So, um... I am looking forward to it. Um, I love New Year's Eve. Always have, always will. So yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. So anyways, I'm going to hit you guys off with another video. Another, um, I'm going to show you, show you a bunch of my, um, bunch of these DVDs that I got in my collection. Um, these DVDs, um, are, uh, are specific. These these DVDs are all hip hop documentaries. You know, I got like I got quite a few of them, um, and plus I also have a, a few. You know, like um, hip hop based movies. Okay, so I'm going to show you these DVDs real quick, and uh, I hope that all of you are checking out my other videos on my channel. You know, got quite a few of them, posted up quite a few of them for the past couple of weeks. And uh, you guys know what to do. Check them out. If you like my channel, subscribe. And always comment down below the video. Okay? So let's check out these hit these uh, DVDs over here. Hip-hop documentaries slash hip-hop based movies that I've got. Alright? So let's start off with this one over here, and this is actually a two-parter over here. <clears throat> and this over here. This one is called Big Pun, Still Not a Player. Now, um, this is um, this is a, a biography about Big Pun. I love Big Pun. Big Pun was an amazing rapper. I Honestly, he's one of my favorites. I honestly think that he is one of the greatest rappers ever, you know what I mean, I put him next to Biggie and Big L and all, and, and, and all that, you know what I mean, and, uh, fantastic biography, um, this, uh, this talks about, uh, how he, he came up, how, uh, he first started, uh, how he first started rapping, and, um, um, you know, and how his family and friends talk about his life, you know what I mean? I mean, you've got a uh, you got uh, Lisa, Lisa Lisa Rios in in this uh, in this documentary who was um, Big Pun Big Pun's uh, wife. Um, they've been they've been married like um, like since uh, ever since he um, till the end, and um, they had a couple of kids and. Uh, she just basically talks about um, how they first got together, how they first met, like, um, you know, like, uh, how their marriage was, you know, ups and downs and all that, you know, obviously, 
all marriages has ups and downs and all that. And uh, yeah, just talking about just just his family and his friends talking about his life, how he first started and all that stuff. And for for those of you who who know about Big Pun, you remember just how really really big he was, how really huge he was. And for those of you who don't know, Big Pun, he actually died of a heart attack. You know, that's how big he was. And, um, and yeah. And they show, they show, like, the beginning, like, the beginning of his life and when he was born. And actually, they show, like, these pictures of him when he was younger. And he used to be, like, really skinny, like an average skinny guy. But then you find out that he went from being like this average skinny dude to the big guy that he was. And, I'm, and I watched this man, you know, and um, I think to myself, how in the world did you, did you make, how in the world did you want to get yourself to be that big? I mean, don't get me wrong, you know, like I'm a big guy myself, I really am, but honestly... Like, you know, like, like these days I've been trying, you know, like to, you know, to lose a bit of weight, taking care of myself and all that. But, but seriously, like you guys remember how big pun, how big he was, man. Like I seriously, I swear to you, I can never, ever get myself that big. You know what I mean? Cause that's pretty much basically slowly killing yourself, you know, and I am, you know, these days starting to take care of myself, being conscious about my health, you know, because I am getting older, you know what I mean, I'm 30, 40 years old, and, uh, and yeah, but nevertheless, Big Pun was amazing, this is an amazing documentary about his life, you know, and you got, like, uh, rappers on, you got, like, all rappers that knew him personally, of course, you had, you know, Fat Joe is on here, and Nas, and uh, Ray Kwan, the RZA, DJ Premier was here, uh, Cuban Lynx, who, uh, who was part of the Terror Squad, yeah, fantastic documentary, for those of you who, uh, who have not checked out this documentary, I highly recommend that you check it out, so Big Punt's still not a player. And uh, the set, and there's another one that I have, which I guess you can call it the sequel to this one. And this one is called uh, Big Pun Live. And uh, this over here um, pretty much focuses on um, his live performances, like his, the past live performances on what he used to do. And once again, his friends, his uh, his fellow rapper friends. Like they reminisce, like they they go back and they um, and they remember, you know, just how just how uh, how good he was performing live and um, yeah. So this one over here is based based on his past live performances and this one's also fantastic as well. <coughs> Excuse me. Another one over here that I have, which is um. For those of you who don't know, there's this show out called uh, Classic Albums, and Classic Albums is a is a one hour long documentary where they um, where they where they um, focus on a particular you know album that um, that a, that a band put out, which is considered a classic, and they would basically would talk about like the makings of the album and all that it, it, it's a great documentary and I got this documentary over here for classic albums for the for the making of reasonable doubt of course this being reasonable doubt being Jay-Z's debut classic classic album and um it's and just Jay Z talking about um, uh, the making of making of reasonable doubt and uh, how he got it all together and all that and um, also people from the past who collaborated with him on this 
on this album, who was on this album, and producers as well, talking about like the making of this, uh, making of this amazing classic CD, you know, and uh, yeah, this is this is a fantastic documentary. It, it's great. And while we're on the uh, Jay Z, um, Jay Z vibe. <laughs> I got here another uh, cl one of his classic movies, and this is called "This is Streets Is Watching the Movie." Um, I guess you can call this like uh, like a like uh, he put this out uh, during um, during the time uh, where "Reasonable Doubt" came out, and also um, his second album, "In My Lifetime," Volume One. Um, and uh I guess you can call this like a a hip hop musical cuz it features like um it features like pretty much all the tracks from Streets is Watching the soundtrack and um also from uh, in my lifetime volume 1 you should you see like videos and stuff like that and uh him uh him acting and all that and all that good stuff and um and yeah, this is also this is also a really cool movie. I like this one a lot. Classic. Okay. Um we'll do this one next. Okay, and um get these out of the way real quick. Alright, and we got here all of you are f probably familiar with that with uh, this movie series called Beef. Uh this movie series where it talks about like um the stories of these different types of hip hop beefs in hi in history, and uh, there's four of them out. And um, the only one that I own physically on DVD is Beef Four. Um, beef One, Two, and Three I own, but it's on my computer. Um, this is this is a really good one. Um, it has like uh, these different beefs over here that they focus on, like. Um, Damon Dash versus Jay Z. Uh, I'm talking about like the breakup of uh, of Rockefeller. Um, there you go. Paul Wall versus Chameleon. There. Jamie Foxx versus LL Cool J. Um, Dash versus Corrupt. You know, um, two of them being from the Dog Pound, and um, and also this one ends with uh, Detroit Beefs, and this will end at the end. It um, pays tribute to, uh, to Proof, you know, uh, Proof being, uh, who was Eminem's best friend and, uh, a member of D12, and, uh, really awesome tribute at the end of this. Um, this one's a good one, but honestly, out of the four of them, it's not my favorite. In my opinion, my favorite, um, my favorite beef movie has to be one and two. Well, I'm not gonna pick one of them. Both of those ones, one and two, were were my favorite ones. And um, I I heard like in the past couple of years that there was supposed to be a B five coming out, but um, I've seen trailers online and all that, and um, I don't know when that one's coming out, but uh, it looks pretty good, and I'm looking forward to it. Okay. And um, I got this one over here. This is a fantastic one as well. It's a fantastic documentary as well, and it is Notorious B.I.G. Bigger Than Life. Just like, just like the big pun one that I showed you. This talks about Biggie and his life, uh, his life and how he first started rapping. You know, all of uh, his past family and his friends just reminiscing remembering Biggie, you know, if you've never seen this, this documentary, I highly recommend you check it out, it is an awesome one, really, really awesome documentary, actually, it says here at the back, it says here, uh, seeing this made me miss Big, and that's a quote from Jay-Z, and, uh, yeah, such a fantastic documentary, and, you know, you know, Biggie, you know, greatest of all time. Um, okay. And this one over here, this isn't a documentary. I, this is more of, um, more of, um, a video, co video DVD collection. And this is, and this is, um,
called the Beastie Boys video, video Anthology. Um, pretty much it's a two, um, two DVD set and it has um, all of their videos like you got all their classic videos like you know intergalactic and uh, shake your rump and uh, hey ladies and so what you want and uh, sabotage all those classic videos over here um, they're great they're all here but also at the same time as a bonus they have like a whole bunch of these remixes from each of from each of these songs so you have like like each song like has at least five or six different remixes so you can listen to these remixes that you probably have never heard of and they're on here and this is fantastic as well actually back in the day when um when I first bought this I bought this oh god I bought this like five or six years five or six years ago this cost me a lot I remember that this cost me four, like over forty dollars, but you know what? When I saw it, I, I I had to have it. I really did not give a shit how much it cost, <laughs> but it was good. It was worth. It's worth the worth it. Okay, and so the three over here that I've got are um, hip hop based move hip hop based movies. The first one I want to show you, which is fantastic documentary fact fan documentary fantastic movie about his fantastic life and you know to be honest with you guys I am I think that he is one of the one of the greatest rappers and I'm not a huge I'm not like the biggest fan of his music I do like some of his music but not all of it but I think that he is one of the greatest, and this movie is just absolutely awesome, and I own it, and you guys obviously have probably seen this, and it's Tupac Resurrection. You know, this is a fantastic movie, talking about his life, and what's great about this, this movie is that this movie, like, obviously came out, like, I believe, uh, this came out like a... Uh, a few years after he after he died, like more than a few years, and what's fantastic about this movie is that um, it's narrated by Tupac himself, and you know, it, it's just an amazing movie, you know. And I know that there is um, quite a few uh, you know Tupac documentaries out right now, but I think that this has got to be the best you know what I mean and it's awesome you know fantastic movie and and like I said you know I'm not the, I'm not the biggest Tupac fan I do like some of his music but not all of it but when it comes to to Biggie and Tupac I prefer I prefer Biggie you know what I mean I'm sorry to all of you who are about to watch this who are who are huge Tupac fans I respect you all, I love you all very much, but I'm just being totally honest, you know, like, Tupac was great, but I'm not like, I'm not like the biggest fan of his, his music, you know what I mean? So yeah, but I, I still consider him to be one of the greatest of all time, so yeah, Tupac Resurrection, fantastic movie. And of course, I, I've got it like, over here, you got this movie over here, Notorious. I love this movie so much. Sorry about that. I love this movie so much. Of course, this coming out a few years ago. You know, like a bio movie based on based on Biggie's life. Awesome movie. You know, and this guy over here. You know, like the actor that played Biggie, I forget his name. I'm sorry, guys. Jamal Wool Jamal Wolin, sorry about that. The guy who they who they got to play Biggie, Jamal Wolf did a fantastic job to you know, like playing Biggie. He did it. he nailed it and this is like this this is like a such an amazing movie. I love it. And also, 
This one over here, 8 Mile. This hands down has got to be one of my favorite movies of one of my favorite movies of all time. I love it. This is Eminem's first and hopefully not his only movie. You guys know about 8 Mile. I don't have to have to dis describe it. I just like to say that I love this movie. One of my favorite movies. Okay? And I got one more documentary that I wanted to save for last and I love this documentary when I first saw this documentary I was blown away just how fantastic it is you guys know that I am a huge Wu-Tang Clan fan and uh, this one over here hopefully y'all have um, have seen this before and uh, if none of you have not seen this this documentary before I know that it's on YouTube right now check it out but it's Wu the story of the Wu-Tang Clan. Fantastic documentary about the beginnings and how Wu-Tang Clan got started. Great, great, great documentary. You know what I mean? It is awesome. And the one thing that, that I absolutely love about this movie is that they do such an amazing... In this, in this documentary, they have this part... Where they where they pay tribute to ODB, Old Dirty Bastard. Such an awesome tribute to the guy. It was spectacular, you know, awesome. And um, I just absolutely love this documentary. I love it, love it so much, and I own it, and uh, it is a great one. Okay? So anyways, guys, that's it. Um... I'm gonna keep hitting you guys off with some more uh with some more um CDs, possibly some more movies, and um that's about it. Okay, so if you like what you saw, comment down below, subscribe to my channel, and as always take care. Benji Pistone. Um Merry Christmas guys. Um hope you guys have a hope you guys have um have a good one. So yeah. Alright, take care guys. Merry Christmas from Benji Pistone. Take care guys.